Hello students, today I am going to discuss about bandwagon effect and snob effect. What is bandwagon effect? See when we are deriving market demand curve from individual demand curves, we make an assumption that the individual consumers are independent in taking decisions. Each consumer is not influenced by other consumers. If one consumer influences by other consumer, he is influenced. A consumer can be influenced positively or a consumer can be influenced negatively. If a consumer influences positively, the market demand goes up. If a consumer influences negatively, the market demand goes down. So let us uh, uh, now analyze this phenomena with the help of a table. Let me assume that there are three consumers in the market. See, this is the market, this is the price in the market for commodity X. Let us say 1, 2, 3, 4. Price per unit. The consumers, these are consumers. Quantity demanded of consumers. Consumer A, consumer B, consumer C. Consumer A, as price is increasing, consumer A initially is buying 9 units, then his uh, demand for the commodity goes down as price increases. Let us suppose from 9 to 8, 8 to 7, 7 to 6 units. And the consumer B, 7, 6, 5, 4. Let us assume consumer C, 5, 4, 3, 2. So here the assumption is, see if you just look at the consumer A and consumer B and consumer C, all are independently behaving, that is the assumption. There are no externalities in demand. If one consumer is not influenced by other consumer, which means there are no externalities in demand. But in reality, one consumer is influenced by another consumer positively or negatively. Let us suppose, let us uh, derive the market demand here. Market demand QD, how do we get? We get by horizontally summing the individual demands. Individual demand A plus B plus C, which is 9 plus 7 plus 5, the total is 16, then 21. Here, 8 plus 6 plus 4, 18. Here, 7 plus 5 plus 3, 15. 6 plus 4 plus 2, 12. See what we have observed. So with the, there is no influence between the consumers, then the market demand is 21, 18, 15, 12 at prices 1, 2, 3, 4. And like individual demands, how they are downward sloping, the market demand curve also slopes downwards. And Saturnis Paribus is the assumption which we have discussed earlier. Now, see if there is influence by one consumer, by another to another consumer then what will happen to market demand let me assume that consumer d who was not interested earlier to buy that product because of the influence of any of these consumers either a b or c the consumer d also starts entering in the, into the market and start buying the product now let me assume his demand let us say six five four three his demand for the product commodity x is that then the market demand goes up now a plus b plus c plus d now 21 plus 6 is 7 18 plus 5 23 15 plus 4 19 and 15 so now market we could observe the market demand has gone up from 21 to 27 at price 1 at price 2 18 to 23 and so on and so forth this increase in market demand due to positive influence of one consumer on the other consumer is called bandwagon effect which is also called positive externality in demand. So every manager of a company in order to increase the sales of the company they have to find out whether their commodity has bandwagon effect or not has bandwagon effect or doesn't have bandwagon effect. It does not if, the, if it does not have bandwagon effect he has to make efforts to create bandwagon effect for his product in order to increase the sales. 
This is about bandwagon effect and a positive externality on demand and increasing the market demand for the product. Suppose if there is a negative influence on the demand for the product, then negative influence means some consumers by nature they don't want to imitate other consumers. If some consumers are buying, they want to withdraw from the market by reducing totally or by to some extent they may reduce the demand, their own demand. Let me assume that the D is not there and C also has withdrawn from the market. That resulting in then now the marketing demand A plus B 16, then 14, then 12, then 10. The market demand with the bandwagon effect is 27, 23, 19, 15 with the bandwagon effect I am writing B. With the snob effect this is called market demand due to snob effect has fallen 16, 14, 12, 10. Then when there is no influence the market demand is MD. <coughs> then what we have observed so stop effect is the effect where there is ex negative externality on demand let us demonstrate this phenomena then but the manager should be careful in identifying and taking precautions not to have for their product a snob effect let us examine and then in detail learn about this phenomena with the help of a diagram so i am drawing a demand curve let me take on the x-axis quantity demanded of commodity x in some units commodity x and price of commodity x price of commodity x so let us suppose this is the demand curve d1 Without any influence, the assumption behind deriving this demand curve is horizontally summing up the individual demands. The assumption behind is there is no influence, no externalities in demand. Means one consumer is not influencing the other consumer either positively or negatively. Then if there is positive influence and the market demand goes up, that is called bandwagon effect, then the market is D2. Then the movement from D1 to D2 is measured by bandwagon effect in short I am writing BE which means bandwagon effect. So D2 is uh, the market demand has gone up from D1 to D2 due, due to positive influence. Then market demand goes down because of the negative influence or snob effect then I am writing snob effect here. Let me take an example a price like this at 4, at 4 rupees. At 4 rupees if there is no influence by each other the consumers, let me suppose that the market demand is 10, 10 units. If there is a positive influence and the market demand goes up, let me put some number is 15 here at the same price. At price 4 the 10 is the market demand without influence and 15 is the market demand with positive influence or with bandwagon effect and let me put this is phi with the snob effect. So it is this concept of snob effect and bandwagon effect is very very important to the manager of the company to know whether their product has snob effect or bandwagon effect. If he doesn't find any snob bandwagon effect for the product he has to promote the sales of the company by creating the bandwagon effect for its product. So in my future lectures, I will be discussing other topics of demand. 